Welcome to beautiful Tempe, Arizona. It was about 19 months ago that I was approached by two ASU graduates, Clarence McAllister and Paul Mooney, and they asked me if I'd be interested in some new, innovative, affordable housing solutions. Well, that took me about a nanosecond to say, of course we would be. So today we'd like to announce that Habitat for Humanity is building the first 3D printed home in the United States. Good morning. You've probably seen 3D printed items somewhere or even on TV. Well, we really do think that this is going to be not just a model for the valley, but the entire world. Uh, my name is Marcus Shivers. I'm a bank courier uh, part-time and I also paint. Uh, apartment complexes. My name is Sean Shivers and I work for a pain management doctor and I do compliance. I just make sure the patients are compliant with their medications. It's been hard. We first started looking. We couldn't find anything affordable in the area we wanted to be and so we had to look into outside areas where we didn't really want to be. We didn't want to commute. Even a fixer-upper house was uh, in the upper 400,000s so that's just something that we could not do. So when I saw that they were going to build in Tempe, I definitely said we have to apply. When she had come home and told me, um, I think Habitat's building in Tempe, and I was like, no way. There's no way Habitat's building in Tempe, but if that's true, let's definitely get in. It's mesmerizing, isn't it? Most people know about 3D printers. A 3D printed home is just on a bigger scale. We just use, it looks like an upside down torpedo that just extrudes cement and it just continues to go around the slab that's already poured and just build the walls. This is a little outside of our normal uh, operational modem, if you please, because a machine is now printing the walls. It's printing all the exterior walls, mostly all the interior walls, and even the kitchen island. Actually, what we are doing is we are extruding um, cementitious material on a special path. So you're using a CAD file, so a CAD file, to program the, 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 the printed pathways. And um, the machine will put the cementitious material on exactly the, the place where it has to be. This technology compared to traditional construction work is different because um, you use less people to build up a home. It's more safe because um, the labor or the, the work is less um, physical demanding. It's also a cool technology, so young people like me are more committed to get into that field, so the construction field. There are so many homeless people and the price of these homes have just gone through the roof in the last two or three years. And so there's a big disparaging problem that's just growing. And so we need to come up with some ways to address it. And I think this is one of the ways. I was pretty excited because I had seen on social media this technology before. And so when we had an opportunity to, to be part of the first one in Arizona, we were all over the idea of, of helping Habitat for Humanity and, and being able to be on the leading edge of developing the technology. I would describe the house as a contemporary ranch house. So it was inspired by a traditional ranch house style construction, uh, just with a couple additional unique features like some curved walls and some filleted walls and, and, uh, uh, and obviously concrete. <laughs> we did have a little fun with the roof and so we're bringing in a lot of natural light and we gave the whole home a little more contemporary vibe. We wanted the home to say, you know, this is modern and we're going in a new direction. But we didn't want it so modern and so out there that it didn't still feel like a home. We ran into, you know, some interesting uh, issues with, with the technology because no one had tried printing in a really hot climate like Arizona before. So one of the things that happened is they started printing the walls and it was so hot outside that they cracked. And they, you can have a certain amount of cracking as normal in concrete, but too much and it, and it uh, structurally causes a problem. We had to speed up because of the sun, because the sun is drying out the 3D printing material. So we didn't realize that was going to be a problem until we printed, and then of course we had to take that wall down and then start back from scratch.
This is a super special day for Habitat as we have built the first 3D home here in Arizona. We've been through a lot of struggles together. Um, we had our kids really young and most of our money went to raising them and um, their activities and stuff. So we didn't have enough money to always save for a house. I think this is going to be our office, maybe. Okay. Kitchen. You're definitely going to be cooking in here. Yeah. <laughs> I do think it's going to be a great way to address uh, the housing problem because the disparaging aspects of the wealthy and the, and, the, and the people that can't afford a house is just getting ridiculous. And it needs to be addressed. And, and I'm just happy that Habitat was so. Um, you know, had the foresight to just jump into this and, and give this thing a shot because that's what they're about. I am 100% sure that we will be faster, cheaper, and yeah, it's also a more sustainable way to, to build houses in the future. Once we work out a few of the bugs and we can bring the cost down even more, I'm convinced that we can build entire neighborhoods with this technology. And that's on the drawing board for a couple years from now. That's a secret, don't tell anybody. Very beautiful house, <laughs> very beautiful house. And why not us? Yeah, that's what I said at first. Yeah, why not us? I said, why not us? Took me a night to sleep on it, but why not us? <laughs>